Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So we checked in, we just checked in, it's like, what, 8? 9.30. 9.30. <laughs> so we got a hotel for the night. A recommendation to you guys, um, don't reserve your hotel the same night. Like, don't drive all the way here and then get a hotel. That's not good planning. Okay, it's um, not, and I had planned ahead of time. I know, and then, I know, that, that's my fault. Yeah, he what had, I'm saying is. He kept yeah. saying, just wait, just wait a minute. We'll, yeah. we'll figure it out when we get there, which okay. is not how I operate. See this? So happy about this. It's an AC. Yes. Tell us, tell them why. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we drove all the way here from Georgia. So we drove halfway down Florida. It's sunshine, like no, not, none of the rain and clouds we were promised. No, it was sunshine the whole way through. No AC, no AC in the car. So we drove with the windows down. We were going in the highway, like, uh, cause we were going 70 miles an hour. Um, the wind whipping past us. Mm -hmm. About Every time we came to a stop, like, I had this, like, earmuff kind of feeling, you know? Um, anyways, AC. This is a well-lit room. For... Yeah, we turned on all the lights. Yeah. Well, except that one over there I didn't turn on. This is a, actually a nice hotel. This is really nice. This is a, it's like that, like, bathroom tile flooring. Like, not real wood. That's all I mean by that, so... Um, please sponsor us, La Quinta, so I can get free stays. Um, <laughs> we get this nice, uh, table, because I guess that people work on their vacations. Some of us do. I mean, some people also work, travel too, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is a ironing board. I won't be using it, but we have one. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, we have a blow dryer. Or we have outside, you know. Um, the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Nothing exciting except that. Nothing exciting, but it's clean and I'd say, I'd say bravo. Um, just on appearances, no, we haven't turned anything over, opened any drawers, got it wet yet, found out whether anything's missing or not. But upon initial inspection, I'd say to you guys, um, I'd say three and a half stars. Like five stars have like bougie stuff in it. I think this is really nice. It is. It, it, it is a really nice three star. Um, the bed looks nice and cozy. I don't know. Let's say, let's say four stars. I give this place four stars. 
Four out of five? I would agree. So hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. We haven't been talking at this point, so uh, you guys are probably wondering why I'm saying hi. Isn't that weird? <laughs> um, so yeah, we went to Tampa, and uh, here we are getting to Bush Gardens. I've been looking forward to going to Bush Gardens for a while now, and uh, I went to the one in Virginia. Uh, where was it? It's like the Colonial Williamsburg uh, on one side, and then like about a mile up the road is Bush Gardens, the European style. So, uh, yeah, um, my experience of Bush Gardens as a kid. So, Kim, have you ever been to Bush Gardens? No, this was actually my first time, and it was fun. It was fun to see the atmosphere. Yeah. Or be in the atmosphere of it. <laughs> yeah. I would say that, uh... I would say that as a kid, it was very easy to stay excited, um, in Virginia. There's far less animals. <clears throat> this one um, felt more like we were at the zoo with some, yeah. some rides. This was um, like, um... I did... I did love seeing, like, the kangaroo and, like, yeah. the penguins, because those are not at the zoo. At least the zoo we've gone to in Jacksonville. This is what I kind of imagined that uh, Disney Safari would be like. Yeah. Because like it's it, it's some rides, but there's animals just about everywhere. Um, it's actually not unlike being in the rest of Florida. Actually, you know, you just go for a ride and there's animals walking across the street. So. I think um, we had a good time. It was definitely really hot that, that day. Yeah. We tend to pick going to um, amusement parks type places when it's like dead summer. And it's not dead summer here, but it has been feeling like that Yeah. Um, with the temperature. So that, uh, that little dome area and the food and wine signs... Uh, when I saw that, I was like, okay, cool. That's something we can do later on and... By later on, like, we got to the park, it was like, what, 11? Like, 10.30, 11 o'clock? I think it was 10.30 or yeah. 10. Some, I think it was 10.30, yeah. So it was 10.30, 11 o'clock, it's sunshine, and uh, just, like, the, sun's, the sun was beating down on us, so we were already wore out. How far of a walk do you think it was from the parking lot, just to get in? A mile and a half, maybe? That, it felt like it. It <laughs> felt like a mile and a half to walk, uh, to walk from the parking lot. So we were in Cheetah Lot. That's kind of... If you guys know what that means. Which wasn't really the farthest from the it gate. No. And, yeah, so, uh, we also didn't realize that there were trams there. Or, like, that there was a tram service that was free that could have taken I, us to the gate. I don't think that was working until later, though. Because we got there yeah. earlier in the morning or the daytime, and I don't think it started working until, like, the afternoon. Yeah. So the tram part of it wasn't obvious. <sighs> and um, for anybody else who's been to uh, Bush Gardens, um, you, you guys can probably... Uh, attest to this, the traffic pattern for getting in and out of Bush Gardens is just bizarre. It's like any other theme park. Kind of like when it we is. went to Disney. Yeah. It was nuts. Yeah, just like you're trying to follow the car in front of you, but there's somebody in the middle of the road going, no, go down th this aisle. It's kind of like if you go to a fair yeah. and, and you park at the fair, it's the same idea. They're like telling you where to park and whatnot. Yeah. But it's one of those things where, like, you feel weird following the person in front of you, and then all of a sudden they're like, go down this lane. Not that lane. Go down, down that lane by yourself, and then you just feel awkward about it. <laughs> but you know me. I can make anything feel awkward. Um, oh, well. So, uh, this is the kangaroo stop here. Oh my gosh, I love the kangaroos. Yeah. There's one that looks like an old man, and he's literally my favorite. I yep. think we already passed him. This is not a kangaroo. This is a bird. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it's an ugly bird. I'll get. I'll give it that. Uh, 
Like, it, it's not the prettiest filler. And, uh... This one looks no. funny. This one's a funny duck right here. Uh, you know, he's, he's just scratching himself. He's got an itch. <laughs> it, it really highlights that, uh... That, like... I don't know. Ducks are very, like, snake-like. Like, look how their necks just kind of arch around a little bit. <gasps> oh, we didn't pass him yet. He's coming up. I love this kangaroo. He's like an old man. He's like good vibes. He's old man vibes. He looks like he just woke up. Yeah, see this sad kangaroo here? That's He's Kim's favorite. so cute. He's <laughs> like, I just woke up. Can you leave me alone? Like, I haven't had my coffee yet. I can't deal with you guys. He's a vibe. <laughs> Look uh, at him. We also took a picture of the old man. He's so cute. <laughs> he smiled. Don't worry about it. Okay, these are a bunch of uh, flamingos. Um... If you're not familiar with them, then uh, I'm sure if you walk around anywhere in Florida, you'll find some plastic ones. Uh, quick trivia note, there's actually far more plastic flamingos than there are real flamingos. Yep, that's true. Like, it's like 20 times the amount or something like that. Mm -hmm. Which Crazy. I think is bizarre. Um, there's some uh, butterfly tropia. It's just a fancy way of saying someone shaved their bush to look like a... <laughs> Butterfly. Wow, that sounds dirty. <laughs> um, here's this tunnel. I think it's called the Tunnel of Love or the Tunnel of uh, Some Bird's Gonna Crap in Your Head. Here's a here's a roller coaster. Yeah, we went on that. It was fun. Yeah, that was a that was a good one. It's called Shikra. Um, it's based on a falcon, so the flight of a falcon, right? So it's just all over the place. Um, similar to the Borg. Or something like that. It. Or the yeah. Anaconda, if you've ever been to King's Dominion. Um, yep, yeah, that's a that's another picture of the same <laughs> ride we just told you about. Um, there's a there's a thing. It's gone now. We never <laughs> went has, to it anyway. It has Pikachu on it. Yes, it does. It does and have Pikachu. What Squirtle? So these are fun. Um, we're about to watch some people get soaked. Nope, never mind. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, yes we are. We're going to watch people get soaked. Um, there's me and Kim, but mostly me. So we're on this train, right? And this guy just loves to talk the entire way through. I'm pretty sure it's his only job. He was um, alive, though. <laughs> really was. <laughs> he had um, all kinds of things. He was, like, yeah. singing about the train and, I don't know, he had things to say about the park. Um... And the roller coaster that is right there that he's talking about is, um, was built in 2005, and then they rebuilt it in 2007. Yep. So, that's kind of cool. Some information <laughs> about that's a roller some coaster. Nice trivia. So, uh, some, tr some unwanted trivia about the uh, train is that uh, they kind of based it around a a circle train loop that's actually in Africa, I guess. It's like some kind of express that goes through like the Savannah or Serengeti, like the Serengeti Express or something like that. There was a picture of it in Bush Garden, so maybe it's there, maybe it's not, maybe it's real. Maybe you want to comment that down below, um, whether I just made up some BS. Uh, we're still on the train. Um, <laughs> It just blows my mind how long we're on this train for. Uh, we actually cut a lot of this back, so I have a lot of footage of us being on the train. Yeah. We're on the, uh, at, at this point, we're on the outskirts of something called Pan, Panatopia, Pantopia, which is a, a walled-off uh, city of convenience stores and food. Uh, yeah. I thought it was cool again. The outside, or the behind the wall is cool, at yeah, least. Yeah, it is kind of cool. It's so pretty there, with all the different, like, oh, there's another train. Yep, with all the, the like, train. yard, um, I was going to say yard work. That's kind of what it is, isn't the it? The yard work? I don't know. What? It's, it's pretty. All the little things they have, like, the pretty bushes, and it doesn't matter. This is an animal enclosure. Um, obviously, giraffes. the only animal you'll see here is that wild forklift, <laughs> or, uh, What's it called? A bulldozer? <laughs> a, a bulldozer in the wild. There were some other animals. So people are pointing. Um, 
at this point, I don't know what they're pointing at because we're six deep and... Oh, it's giraffes. Okay. So, giraffes, they uh, do everything standing up, including... Uh, um, there were other animals there. Yeah. I just forget what all was there. <laughs> yeah, um, they have more than giraffes, but giraffes are their poster child. and <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly get bored of them. So here's some more plants and a roller coaster. I think it's the Sidewinder or something like that. It's yeah. based off a snake. Yeah. So naturally we ignored it and moved on. Actually, actually we ignored it because we were tired as hell. That's more what it was. I actually thought that one looked fun to go on. I just didn't, didn't go on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so this area, there's a part where you can pay extra to go feed giraffes, which we did not do. But maybe someday we'll do it. It sounds cool, though, to mm -hmm. get to feed giraffes. That would be kind of fun. Um, they have, uh, what's it, like 20-inch long tongues. More artwork of a giraffe yep, that's made more. out of a tree. This is a, uh, yes, yeah, so a go dogs. Go dogs. Um, oh, I loved this part. Isn't the... Look how cute he is. He's just chilling. Yeah. Ooh, he's flapping his wings. I think it's so cool. I got the penguin swimming. Yep. On camera. So cute. And, and the park actually let us take one home. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just making that, that up, guys. I would not, you know, borrow a live animal and bring it into the house. I don't think Sage would appreciate bringing home a penguin. Yeah. <laughs> it's the alligator. So I actually did not know when we got this uh, film that the alligator is actually completely seeable. If you want to go back and press pause, you'll actually see the gator's head. Um, it's not just a couple teeth and a log, what I thought it was. Went through a tunnel. Yep. We do like our tunnels. It's a bird. Cage. The bird was big. Yep. I'm pretty sure that bird has a really big nose, just yeah. like I, I do, and uh, it probably also uses its beak to catch small bugs and food. What? <laughs> There's another big bird. Yep. That one's not even wild, it just flew in. Ooh, that's <laughs> an owl. Yeah, okay. that's a... I, I want to say they said it was a screech owl. Oh, nice. That's a sloth. It's a little bit hard to see. Yep, that is a sloth. It looks like a little baby. Yeah, taking a nap. Just a, it kind of looks like my brother, actually. Uh. Um, just a furry little baby. Um, oh, hi, I Josh. Like, I like <laughs> this. Can't tell by now. That is the Florida swamp cat right there. It's a baby alligator. Yeah, the baby alligator. Move. He's on the move, He's Nick. He's just so cute. And he's going into his dog kennel. Yes. He's ready to go home. He probably wants to eat the chihuahua we put inside of it. Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, Anyways, go. moving on. <laughs> more uh, flamingos. Yep, more pink birds. They're actually really tall. It's the one thing about long birds that's actually really creepy to me is how like how like snakehead, snake like their their necks are. They can just whip them around all kinds of ways. That's an elephant, if you couldn't tell. Um it's a big elephant. It's so hot outside that even the elephant's like, it's too damn hot out here, man. Yeah, he was just... like spraying himself and it yeah. was actually kinda cute. Uh Yep, that is me, and that's the bones of a giraffe. So this is where they do surgery on all of the animals when yeah. they need help, I guess. It's actually kind of cool, although if you want to watch people uh, dissect a monkey while trying to, like, I don't know, fix a shoulder or something. I was imagine, that's kind of weird. But. Yeah, it's kind of like a normal hospital room if you think about it, though. Yeah, but their observation room is huge. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of it more like they'd have to do, like, work on an elephant, and it has yeah. to be big, because those things are huge. <laughs> yeah, it would be. 
this is a Pantopia. Like I said, it's where it's where they uh, they put all their food together in one place and palm trees. There was a there was a spot where you you could eat, and that line went from outside the restaurant like I don't know a good five six hundred feet back. Mm -hmm. Like it was it was crazy. I love um, palm trees. Yes, you do. <laughs> I like avocado trees, mostly because I'm attempting to grow one. Funny thing is, he used to not like avocados, and now he loves them. Yeah. Um. After Bush Gardens was over, um, because we actually were going to do a little bit more there, but it was late when we got there. Um, we were also tired by the end of the park. Yeah, we were. But we went and saw the water, one of the beaches they had there. Yeah. Put our feet in the water. So this is like, uh, yeah. uh, what's it called? It's like, um, St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. like St. Petersburg Beach, technically, but it's like the Tampa Bay area of that. Yep. Um, as you can see, Kim has been in every U.S. water, technically speaking. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> cool yep. information about She's me. She's been on the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And, and now, now the Gulf of Mexico. Yay! Okay, well, that's uh, all the time we got for now. Um, see you next time. Bye! Bye.